What's up guys, it's Jasmine and I'm super excited to let you guys know that I will be on Talkie, which means I get to talk to you guys so much more. So make sure you guys sign up for Talkie and ask me questions, anything you wanna know, if you guys wanna hear me sing some songs, if you guys wanna see me do anything, just hit me up on Talkie and let's start talking. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Mahesh Falanki, co-founder and general manager of Talkie. Welcome to Talkie. What you just saw was a great example of one of our creators, Jasmine, encouraging her fans to connect with her on Taki. So this is my first time at VidCon and presenting virtually, so naturally I'm a little nervous. Let's all pray to the internet gods that everything runs smoothly. Now we've got about 45 minutes together here, so I'll use that time to walk through the platform, share some new product features, and also tell you about some upcoming content that we have coming out. The best part is, is that I'm not gonna bore you with slides. We'll actually have a chance to watch some fun videos and we'll end with a panel discussion with some of our very own creators, Mackenzie Brook, Dre, Torvas, and your girl Ari. So please tweet any questions for me or our panelists on Twitter using the hashtag VCNowTaki. If this is the first time you're hearing about Taki, there's really three things that you need to know. Number one, think of us as Cameo meets Patreon, but focused on digital creators. We're a video tipping platform where small to mid-sized creators make money creating short interactive video messages for fans. Second, you, the creator, have all of the control. You decide what services to offer, how much to charge, and how and where you promote to your fans. And lastly, unlike other sites that take a sizable cut, on Taki, you'll earn almost 100% of every single booking. So here's how it works. To get started, you create a Taki profile, promote on social, and encourage your community to request a Taki from you. Once a fan makes a purchase, you'll receive a notification with the request and can accept or decline for any reason. Then you've got a week to record and upload. Most Taki videos take just a couple of minutes to create and you can do them from the comfort and safety of your own home. Now let's talk about getting paid. Our creators are deploying a variety of strategies. Some of them are charging between five and ten dollars for simple shout outs or greetings to upwards of 25 50 or even a hundred dollars for more substantial interactions like an ama or a video tutorial several of our creators are already earning a few thousand dollars per month doing this uh, but don't take it from me check out this video to learn more To Talkie, where you can make money creating personalized videos for your fans. Talkie specializes in digitally native celebrities. Our roster features nearly 200 TikTokers, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, and stars from music, sports, and entertainment. Our new interactive features make each Talkie one of a kind and shareable to drive repeat orders and help grow your community. We're always adding new features to help you earn even more money, like tipping, text over video, signed digital autographs, and one-of-a-kind collectible doodles. Unlike the other guys, on Taki, you keep 95.5% of every booking. Join our creator wait list at go.taki.app and start earning money now. All right, so Taki is a flexible tool. We're always coming up with new ways to help you drive more orders. But it's usually the creators themselves that come up with the best ideas, like doing giveaways or other limited-time promotions. I'm a huge UFC fan, so one of my personal favorite examples is uh, two-time UFC champion Daniel Cormier donating all of his Taki proceeds for charity to a youth wrestling organization. But there's lots of other fun ones. Check out this example from TikTok tattoo artist Dobby Bugless. TikTok, I want to do a tattoo giveaway. You must be 18 years or older and have your own means of travel to Maryland. The rules are simple. Book a custom video at the link shown below. Every booked video will give you an entry into the contest. So fun fact, uh, Dobby is from Maryland like me. Shout out to Maryland. Drop, Dobby actually drove over 40 orders with this post. Someone actually went to his tattoo parlor and got an actual tattoo. But back to business. To help drive repeat orders, we're always adding new interactive features so that each talkie will be one of a kind. This allows for you to interact directly with your fans in multiple ways. Let me give you a couple of examples. So we had a fan ask beauty creator, Emily Ghoul to share what products she used to get a specific look in one of her Instagram posts. Uh, the fan shared one of Emily's IG links, which Taki stitched together to make this cool video collage. Take a look. 
Hi, Paulina. Okay, so for that look, um, what I did was I did, you know, half-half. So half was blue and half was pink. And then the contact lenses are both from Olens. So I got those from Olens. And then my nails, um, I have a girl who does all my nails. Look! I have Sasuke nails right now. But then, um, so she did my nails half-half. And then um, for the makeup, I used a brand called Kimchi Chic. So if you look up Kimchi Chic, um, they have really, really vibrant, glittery, um, what's it called? Glittery uh, colors, yeah. And then I put the highlights here, and I put the highlights here and here. And then for the glitter filter, I used, um, what was it? Kira Kira. Cool. So for those who aren't familiar with anime, she actually had anime characters on her nails, in case you were wondering. Uh, another fan, to give you another example, we had another fan ask singer-songwriter Danny Warsnop to help him with a guitar chord progression. So this fan recorded a video of himself playing the guitar and included it with his Taki request. Check out the final product. Hey Danny, my name is Josh. I'm a big fan of yours and I was hoping that you could help me uh, with this chord progression. Got three chords. And I'd like to expand the song, so I'm not really sure where to go from there. And so if you could help me with a B section or a bridge or a turnaround, anything would be much appreciated. Uh, thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Josh. Uh, thank you for the kind words. I think you have a, a, a beautiful start there. I think there's a lot of options for you moving forward, and largely it's going to depend on um, the, the the context, the mood, and the subject matter of the song, um, both along with the, the the genre that you're kind of leaning towards in your head with it. Um, there's obviously a lot of decisions that come into play. You could go down with the, you could go up with a. Which is uh, keep it incorporated uh, in either one one of the chords that you're already using um, to keep it tied together. Uh, what I heard as being kind of a cool thing would be uh, to octave between two other chords, which keep it more interesting. If we go something along the lines of this. Keep it incorporated uh, in either one one of the chords that you're already using um, to keep it tied together. Uh, what I heard as being kind of a cool thing would be uh, to octave between two other chords, which keep it more interesting. If we go something along the lines of this. in there is uh, kind of a, a, a more relative to a funk but without the same thing but um it, it's being kind of creative and creating some accent uh, some accent points to uh to switch up that melody and, and and introduce a different aspect of the song but as i said largely it's going to depend on um what you're feeling contextually and subject matter wise within the song i wish you all all the best and all the luck and I look forward to hearing where you go with it. Awesome. Pretty cool, right? Also super happy these videos are working. So it looks like we're having not, not having any technical issues, which is awesome. Uh, I personally have no musical ability. So even someone as talented as Danny Warsnop could, you know, not help me. But, but anyways, I hope that gives you guys a sense for some of the unique ways to use Taki. Uh, starting today, we're adding even more interactive features like tipping, text overlay over video, uh, signed digital selfie autographs, and one-of-a-kind collectible doodles. Uh, these, these new features are all customizable and, and one-of-a-kind. Um, they basically provide countless new ways for you to monetize and drive repeat orders while also providing, at the same time, awesome fan engagements. So if you can't already tell, the, 
the possibilities on Taki are, are really endless. It's really just bound by your own creativity and what you want to offer your, your communities. Uh, and we're, we're partnering with our roster all the time to help them grow their reach and earn even more money with one-on-one -on -one personalized content. So here's a really fun example. How many of you guys remember the music video Baby by Justin Bieber? Of course you do. It's iconic. It's been viewed more than 2 billion times. Y'all know it was my go-to jam when it first came out. Uh, the star of the video, Jasmine Viegas, is actually on Taki, and she's using Taki to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of the video. She's offering fans the opportunity to join a group video chat where she'll share stories from the set, including what it was like to work with, and of course, date Justin Bieber. Here's Jasmine to tell you more. What's up, guys? I'm partnering up with Taki to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Justin Bieber's Baby, the music video that started it all. I definitely wanted to do something for my fans that have been there with me since the very beginning. So join me in the ultimate throwback Thursday, a video call with me. So we'll discuss filming the video, working with Justin Bieber himself, and the lasting legacy of Baby. Can you guys believe it's been watched more than 2 billion times? It's crazy, I know. So make sure you guys head to my Taki page to learn more and get your tickets. See you guys later. We'll be hosting this ultimate throwback Thursday on August 6th. Go to Jasmine's Taki page to learn more and get your ticket. But enough of me. The best way to learn about Taki is to hear it from our creators directly. So without further ado, I'm pleased to welcome Mackenzie Brook, Torvas, Dre, and your girl Ari. So while we're getting them up, uh, if you guys have any questions for me, or any of the panelists, please tweet them using hashtag VCNowTaki and we'll try to get some of those, some of those questions answered. Okay, so I think we're set. I think we got everybody going here. Um, so I wanna get going. So what we'll do is we'll start with backgrounds first. Everybody's got a really cool background here. Um, so we'll go around the circle here and we'll basically, for folks who aren't familiar to work, uh, tell us about the type of content you create and on which platforms. And so, uh, Torvas, why don't you kick us off? All right, um, can you hear me? Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for joining. Um, I'm Paolo, or known as Torvas. Uh, I'm a TikToker. I primarily make POVs on TikTok and I started in August 9th, so yeah. Cool. Ari, what about you? Hey. Um, I'm Ari. I started really on TikTok and I just made videos with friends and um, makeup videos and stuff like that. Just moved over to YouTube and I've been on Instagram, but not like that. So yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Thank you. And uh, let's bounce over to Dre. Yo, what's up? I'm Dre. Um, here with talking and these amazing people having a great day. Oh, bars. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Uh, been in the game for a minute, like about six, seven years. Uh, but now I'm going on Twitch, some Instagram, TikTok. I just post some weird videos. Don't even follow me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just having a good time. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, he does an amazing, amazing body roll. Body uh, rolls all day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and last but not least, uh, let's give Mackenzie a shot to uh, tell us a little bit about herself. Hey guys, I'm Mackenzie Brooke. I do all social media platforms now, but I started mainly on TikTok and I didn't start out myself. My mom actually got me on the platform. She was like, Mackenzie, like you need to like start posting and everything because I had the chance to go to Playlist 2017 to perform as a dancer and I was going to start then, but I was social media wasn't my time. I didn't want to do social media. And then my brother got booked for a TV show in LA for the summer and I had nothing else to do except stay in the room all day and like either watch TV or like read a book. So my mom's like, you could either read a book or start TikTok. So my obvious answer was start TikTok. And I started about two years ago now. Cool, thanks Mackenzie. Uh, great, so I, I love it. Everybody's got different backgrounds, all super unique, very cool. Um, so I'll go around now and do, and I'll pepper, I'll pepper some folks individual questions. So popping back to, to Dre, uh, yeah. So, you're, so I've noticed you're really big on YouTube. Obviously you've been in the YouTube game for a long time. Yeah. Uh, would, would love to know like what's led to your success there. And I noticed also you've you know, been been using some other platforms like Twitch and, and yeah. a couple others. I just want to understand like 
you know, what led to your success on YouTube and how are you thinking about using other content platforms as well? Well, YouTube, I just started obviously just as a hobby where I, like before I started college, basically, uh, guy, I'm more of a, if I didn't mention in the beginning, I was a K I'm a K-pop YouTuber, like my plat, my content is K-pop. So I started way before where K-pop started getting big and big. Now it's just, I just naturally grew. Uh, and, uh, more known for like reaction skits, my body rolls, as everybody says, I dance. I'm not, not, the, I don't think I'm a great dancer, but everybody wants me to dance. I don't know, but you know, catch me at a party, you know, you see me, but, uh, let's see Twitch. I'm doing so well there too. So those are the two platforms I really expanded, but, uh, it just grew naturally to be honest. Uh, I just grew with the times, I guess. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. All right. Go back to Mackenzie. You know, you've got a strong following on you know, both YouTube and TikTok. So I would just love to understand like how you have evolved your content strategy over time. And like, do you have, do you have fans that are, like that follow you on both or do you have different fa fans on each platform? Um, for me, I kind of, I have fans all over my platforms, but I also have different fans for each platform because I'm doing different content for YouTube, but I do have a lot of my like fans from TikTok and Instagram that have gone over to my YouTube and I just like multi-reference all of them. Like I, when I'm on TikTok, I'll promote my YouTube and on YouTube, I'll also be promoting my Instagram and uh, I YouTube just like my brother does because we share our YouTube together. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, and then over to, to Torvas, you know, kind of a segue into your community. One thing I've noticed um, is, is, first of all, you're huge on TikTok. But what stuck out to me is you've got such a diehard fan base that like literally follows you to other platforms. Like right now in chat, we're getting like tons of questions from your fans. And when we run these, we run like a weekly talkie giveaway for folks that aren't aware. We give it a free talkie to folks who engage on our Twitter handle. And on our talkie Twitter handle, we'll get 500 or a thousand comments and they're almost all from from Torvas's fan almost every single one uh and so I'm just wondering like how did you cultivate a community like this okay um first off thank you to everyone who's watching and who supports me I love you guys and honestly you know I really don't know um I try to interact with you guys as much as I can uh, that's like my biggest thing um but yeah, I really, I really don't know. So thank you to everyone who does that. Uh, I really do love you guys, but yeah. Yeah, cool. I got a question from the crowd too. A question from Soso on Twitter. Uh, where does the inspiration for your videos come from? <laughs> well, honestly, um, I get a lot of my videos through the For You page. So I, I scroll through it and I look around. But honestly, I just, I just come up with it on the spot. I don't really know where it comes from, but yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, keep it natural. I like it. Yeah. Um, all right. And uh, last but not least, Ari, what I've noticed about you is, um, you know, your community is super unique in that it's like really tight knit, positive and, and, and very, very, very supportive um, of, I think of you and, and of others in the community. So we'd love to ask, you know, what what makes it special? Yeah, um, I definitely do have like a tight knit, like little community that I have. Um, I guess my like from when I was starting, I always really wanted to be someone that like, not necessarily all younger kids, but like younger gay people and like people like that um, were able to like look up to because when I was growing up, I didn't really have any like strong influence on that. Um, so I feel like being part of the LGBTQ plus community has definitely, um, has definitely like helped me with my little tight, tight little fan base thing. Yeah, yeah, cool. That makes sense. So uh, this is great backgrounds for everybody. Uh, I think it's, let's talk about Talkie for a second. Uh, let's go through how you all use Talkie, just a little bit about your strategy and how you're utilizing within your communities. Um, let's Torvalds, let's start. We'll start with you. Okay. Well, um, so I use Talkie to interact with you guys more often. Um, as much as I try to interact with as many people as I can, it's obviously uh, not possible uh, realistically. So Talkie is sort of like a guaranteed way you could say. Um, for me, able to say hi to you guys and talk to you guys personally, like one on one. But yeah, I use Talkie just to talk to you guys more often and to ensure that um, we were able to communicate. So yeah, yeah, cool. How about you, Ari? For me, um, whenever okay, so the best thing, like how I use it, is just like 
when I'd be on live, like streaming on TikTok or Instagram, I'll keep getting like comments about like, oh, hey, can you say this? Or, hey, it's my birthday. And as much as I like try, like Torva said, like I try to get to it. It's just like sometimes it's just a lot or I'm just going crazy doing something. Um, so it definitely helps me get to all of those and give everybody a chance. Yeah, kind of using it as like an overflow or you can't, can't get to everybody's comments. You can't, you know, address it all within you know, the platform that you're on. It's like spill over into, into Taki. Um, okay, Dre, how about you? Before I say, my fans are obsessed with Torvest right now. I'm on Discord. <laughs> He's like, oh, who's this? I'm like, all right, all right I see you. But <laughs> let me go into this question. Uh, Taki, I use it. Okay, so basically, I always say I don't want to do any dance challenges. I always said, like, nah, nah, let's not. But with Taki, they request it. And now that Taki has a link feature, they just link me whoever they want. I'm like, all right, I'll take an hour or less out of my day and learn this challenge. All right, just for y'all. And I'll do it, of course. Or, you know, just like uh, uh, Ari said, like if it's a happy birthday or something uh, request. Or I've made a skit for them out of nothing because I was, you know, just feeling creative. <laughs> so, yeah, I use that for that. Just something that I wouldn't do out of the ordinary. Yeah, no, we, we definitely had a lot of folks who um, uh, they almost open up in a different way on Taki because it's one to one. And they're like, well, you know, I can try something out here. I can try something a little bit different. And it's not, exactly. it's not out there for the whole world, but it's still fun. And it's, it's, it's unique and it's not brand for me. So it's cool. Uh, and then, and then Mackenzie, you're actually new to Taki. So for folks who don't know, yeah. she actually, she actually joined us this, this past week. Uh, and so I'd love to understand how you plan on using Taki. So how I plan on using Taki is by um, either sending people like really nice messages because with my fan base, I'm my uh, brand with me, my brothers always, always be you. So either telling people to like always be themselves and giving them positive vibes and positive messages or like Ari said, like um, on live, I'll get lots of comments saying like, hi, can you shout me out? Blah, blah, like all those different types of things and I can't always read them. So either doing that for them, but like on a personal basis. Cool, makes sense. Uh, okay, so let's maybe, maybe switch shift gears a little bit into um, tips for using Taki. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have any tips, but but Ari, are there any uh, tactics or, or, or tips you'd give folks to, to new creators on, on Taki on how you, you know, might promote it or, or, or use it in interesting ways? Um. Really what I've been doing, I'll just make some TikToks. I'll see like what sound is trending. And um, I come up with the idea for those TikToks based on like trending sounds and how I can like incorporate, hey, you can get a personalized video from me. Um, and then also in a nice way, um, sometimes people will like message me on Instagram asking for a video and I'll like lead them to my talkie. And I do that as well. Got it, cool, that makes sense. Uh, Dre, any pointers on your end? With Taki, you know, obviously just give the like the swipe up for my Instagram or like on my YouTube, I'll promote it there. But uh, other than that, just a uh, way of promoting it, just see something different from what you expect from me doing on YouTube or, or Instagram, you know. And yeah, mostly it comes from that for, the, for me at least. Yeah, yeah. Tor Torvos, how about you? Um, I just basically promote it on my biggest platform. So I'll do like a, as like a Instagram story, I'll put on my link or I'll just talk about it on TikTok on a live stream. I'll tell people like, if you want like a sure way to talk to me, like a hundred percent, I'll lead them to talk to you. So yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. So each of you has been really successful as a creator in your own right. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you can share with anybody looking to follow in your footsteps? So tips to kind of an aspiring creator. Um, let's we'll start with Trey. Also, just one point out. I'm on Discord, so uh, my fans again said they love Mackenzie. They think Ari's stunning. Anyways, let's keep on going. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we uh, tips. Um, I have a lot of. Ex I, I, it's crazy that I have experience that give tips now. Uh, consistency. I feel like consistency is key to uploading. Um, know your audience to what they like. Uh, to at least build a platform. Also look at the trending page, I, like to see what happened, whether it be YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. And, uh, you know, look, hopefully you love what you do because I feel like people could tell if you don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, right, it comes off. Uh, it's hard to be authentic uh, and fake mm -hmm. it. Um, is that the, that's the VidCon Discord, right? 
Or is that your yeah. own Discord? Oh, that's okay, my, cool. own, my own little Discord, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I was wondering if you used Discord. Okay, cool. Um, Mackenzie, how about you? Any any tips for aspiring creators? Um, I have a few tips. So um, on my brother's and my YouTube page, we give like our three top tips. So um, our first tip would be make sure you always have like great lighting and a great background. Um, number two would be like make sure your video if you're creating like comedy video, you got to make sure your videos like make sense to where like anyone's going to be able to get the video and also make sure your audience is going to like it too. And then I would say my third tip is to make sure you're having fun because like you guys said, like if you're not having fun, people could definitely tell, but always be yourself too. Don't try to be someone else. Just be you because there's no one else that's like you. So just make sure you're always being yourself. Cool. Uh, Torvas, how about you? Yeah, so um, just as JRE said, staying consistent, I think, is, the, is like one of the most important things. And, um, you know, if you stay consistent, your your fans and your supporters will stay consistent with you and they'll keep commenting. And I think that's what leads to, like, uh, like developing an actual relationship with them and not just, you know, them just watching your videos. And I think another thing is, like, don't listen to the haters because you're going to get some eventually. And, you know, just they're not worth your time. So, yeah. Yeah, it's inevitable, inevitable, I feel like. Um, all right, and Ari, you want to take us home? I feel like everybody took, uh, everybody took my tip. All the good ones? They got them. But, like, definitely um, be yourself because you you present, like, whatever version of you on, like, your social media and whatever platform you're on. And you want to stay consistent so you can't like switch up, like just be yourself. It's so much easier to be yourself and not worry about what people think than to fake it. And then now you're like, okay, well, I can go back to myself. I don't know if y'all will still like me though. And yeah, that's yeah. my best tip. Yeah, no, no, that's good. Uh, don't worry on the next question. I'll let you go first. And nobody takes oh, your answer. But uh, we actually have one top voted question right now through VidCon. Um, so actually somebody brought up that Dre actually recently adapted his schedule. Um, and so in that vein, how do you each perform self-care and like know when to take a step back for, for a break if you, if you need it? So we can snake back from, from Ari, Ari backwards. Oh. Hey, um, there was a point where I did need a break. I realized that my content was just repetitive and I was not having fun doing it anymore I was just because I was kind of like forcing myself to be consistent um so I took a step back a couple days it was supposed to be like a week but it was like a couple days and I was like all right I'm back hey guys but um definitely keeping a balance of filming making content and doing what you love so I love doing hair um I work at a salon so I go work, I come back, sometimes I'll make videos, sometimes I'm not. If you feel like you're running behind and being consistent, then a tip for that would be make multiple videos, keep them in your drafts. I have like a thousand drafts with like, just make sure you change change a shirt so you look different and it looks like you filmed it every other day. Wow, makes sense. Uh, Torvus, <laughs> Torvus, how about you? Yeah, so um, I think taking a break is really important. There are times... Um, like two months ago or last month, there was a moment where I really wanted to take a break, but I just didn't because I was scared of um, not growing enough, which is my own fault. I wish I did take a break. I'm fine now, but yeah, just like make sure your mental health is in check before you take another step into anything like uh, bigger. So yeah. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. Uh, Mackenzie, any thoughts on that? Um, yes, taking a break is definitely, if you do need it, um, I, when I first started out with social media, I didn't want to do it. So I definitely had like, that was like my big break and everything, but I've just like kept on going, but there's this, um, uh, uh, something, a cause that I support. It's a, um, it's called leave on the light and it's for mental health stability and for suicide. And definitely like that's, it's all about like, if you need to take a break and if you need anybody like they're there and that stuff so i definitely believe like if you need a break or like anything like even if it's like for a second or for like a month or like even if you just want to like stop it to like at all like you just want to stop it like you want to move on to something else i definitely like believe in the cause and everything 
Yeah, and for the uh, I'm not sure if Mackenzie, if you mentioned this earlier, but uh, you know, Mackenzie's donating uh, all her Taki proceeds to to that cause, to that charity she oh. she mentioned, which is a, a big use case on Taki. A lot of people just give all the proceeds to uh, to charity, uh, which is not what everybody does, but it's just one way to do it. Uh, and Dre, you want to uh, give us your answer to that question? Of course. Oh, first of all, Discord says shout out to the moderator. He's doing an amazing job. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <that laughs> thank you. I appreciate um, it. I appreciate it. I feel like don't get burnt out. A lot of social media influencers and YouTubers and whatever are getting burnt out. And it's because I feel like either they're scared that they might drop like Torvis says or something like that. And it's <laughs> some people just need to take a step back and just like chill. It's, it's, I mean, it, like, you know, you, you get addicted to like, you know, creating content and stuff like that. And I've been there myself. I've been burnt out. And sometimes you just go on different platforms. Like, I feel like definitely Twitch, for me at least, has helped me uh, refresh me for a different platform content. Because YouTube, you know, could be a little bit saturated here and there. But, you know, just like, you know, don't be afraid to like take a break, even though it is kind of scary for, I guess, influencers here and there. Yeah. Cool. What are you playing on Twitch, by the way? And, uh... Bro, they want me to play Outlast. I, I played all the Outlast horror games. I think they just want me to be tortured. I feel like through Twitch, <laughs> like, like that's all they want to do. I'm like, I, I'm down. I mean, if y'all showing up, I'll do it. And I have. I played all the Outlast games. It's scary and it's disturbing, but it's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, so we're we're getting towards the end here. I want to end on a round robin questions. It's actually from 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 Twitter, uh, from Daphne on Twitter, but. Uh, we'll just go around real quick, shotgun round. What is one word to describe your fans? Summed up in one word. Dre, you want to start? Bruh, they are always in my case. <laughs> not <playing. laughs> not, not like that. I'm, for that, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, they, they dope, of course. They've been with me for a while now. So, you know, I got to say show love back. I call them the dreamers, you know, but with a J. It's, I know it's corny, but I still love it. Anyways, but... uh. They've been there for me from my ups and downs, and I have to appreciate that. I mean, and still going on strong. So, yeah, love you guys. Okay. Well, it wasn't one word, but I, I think I got the. I, I, got I know. The <laughs> I had to keep on going. My bad, y'all. I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, tour of us. Uh, one word. Um, I'd say lovely. You guys are amazing. You guys mean so much to me. You guys are making my dreams come true. So, yeah, you guys are lovely. Yeah. All right. Love it. Uh, Mackenzie. Um, I have so many words. It's so hard to describe like a fan group that um, have been supporting me since day one. But I think a, a great way to say it I guess, is supportive because they're always there for me and they're always supportive. And like every time I see someone in public, um, like yesterday, everyone was like, oh, can you like give us advice and everything and like tell us like what we need to work on and I think just like supportive is like the best way to like, I guess, to say to my fans and all the stuff that thank you so much for supporting me and I'll always support them too. Cool. Yeah. And Ari, you can, uh, you can have a couple extra words if you want, but yeah. Ari, what do you have? Uh, one word to describe them. I would say crazy because they actually watch me like <laughs> why y'all watch me, but I really appreciate them. I love them. They've been, they, they are the reason that I like, continue to make content obviously they just they're so sweet they're really supportive um yeah i appreciate them a lot they're still crazy though so cool well i appreciate the answers uh look our time is up uh if you, if you want to learn more about these folks i know it's really sad uh uh but i'll say it was it was lovely quote unquote uh, so go to the Taki homepage to, to learn more. Thanks to each of you for being here, obviously. Uh, thanks, Ari, Mackenzie, Dre, Torvas. You guys are awesome. Thanks to Thank VidCon. You. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys being here. appreciate all the, the ability to, to do this panel. Uh, if you want to learn more about Taki or join our wait list, go to go.taki.app to sign up. If you've got additional questions for me, just DM me at mvelank on Twitter. That's M-V-E-L-L-A-N-K on Twitter. All right. Thanks, everybody.